When you're buying a car, do you check the description and see the optional extras that it comes with? Well, we'll take a look at the optional extras of the Audi Q8 Sportback 50 e-tron Black Edition and we'll see the colour, the exterior, interior and the different technology packs that you can get on this. So stay tuned because we've got lots to come. So let's get straight into it. So then one of the key deciding points in falling in love with your vehicle is the colour. Now that's what I've done with this beautiful ultra blue Q8 Sportback. Now this comes at a cost of £595 if you buy it brand new. So does all these other colours that you see on the screen, the metallics and the pearl effects. The free standard is a magnet grey, yes it looks fantastic but there is even more. The Audi exclusive paint that comes at a cost of £3,495, check out our last video on the RS5 Carbon Black Edition for all of them colours but I'll put a link in the top right right now but what would you do? Would you pay all that money for the Audi exclusive paint or would you stick with a £795 Ultra Blue? Let me know down in the comments. So then on to the seats. These are the front sporty seats. These are in the Volcona leather in the rock grey and black. They've got the S-line embossed, they're heated with the contrast stitching. They've got the leg extender and electronically adjustable. Now, they are two different other choices that you can get as well. You can get it in the rotor grey. I'll put it on the screen right now. It lights it up a little bit and it looks quite nice or you can get the Dynamica lever which is a different style of seat now what do you guys think these are all free so which one would you prefer no. So for starters, these are the 21-inch five-arm aero design in the gloss black. They look fantastic, and what I love is this cool little ridge design that you get all around the alloy wheels. Now these ones are free, and so are these ones. These are the 21-inch 10-spoke rotor design in the anthracite black. Now these are brilliant as well, but which one would you choose? These ones or these ones that's on the Ultra Blue Q8 right now? So then, just before we check out the technology packs that you can get, let's have a look at the front. For starters, I'm not too keen on this badge. I'll show you in a second what the rear one looks like, and I think that one's much better. It just looks plastic and flat, but compared to the back where it's actually indented, that looks a lot better. You've got the e-tron, the black design pack, because it's for black edition. You've got the black trims, these LED headlights. Now, these got the matrix and the daytime running lights, so they all look great. But let's check out the Side because I love the little charging design. So then from the side profile, I'll talk about the wing mirrors in the next section because you can upgrade them with a twist. But have you noticed the, the charging port? Yes, it's right here. If I press the button next to the e-tron, then that folds down and gives you the chance to charge it. Then this can do a rapid charger up to 80% in an hour and 20 minutes. Now that is fast. But this can do 290 miles. I'm not going to be one of those that's fantastic because EVs do have a problem with their range. Because if you rack the heating on or the heated seats, then this goes down rapidly. But nevertheless, you can just press this button and that folds back up. And you've also got the tinted back windows. So it's quite a nice side profile. And it's a quite a big SUV, this Audi Q8 is. So then around the back, let's take a quick look. You've got the black privacy glass. You've got the tiny S-line spot. You've got the logo that's so much nicer at the back because it's got the uh, indents in between each ring. You've got the full width LED tail light. You've got the cool Q8 logo and you've also got the e-tron black S-line bumper with the rear parking sensors and for the boot space you can get 528 litres of boot space in the back which is plenty of room. So then, I bet you're all dying to hear what I've got to say about these ring mirrors. Well, if you want to upgrade to the virtual door mirrors, then you've got to get the City Assist Pack. You come with all these features that's on the screen right now for the City Assist Pack, but that comes at a cost of £1,125. So to get the virtual door mirrors, then you have to pay that plus for £1,750 to get the virtual door. So would you pay nearly three grand to get the City Assist Pack and the virtual door mirrors, or is it just worth having the normal ones? Let me know down in the comments. 
You scroll it on the description on Auto Trader and you come across Technology Pack for the Audi and you're not too sure what it comes with. Well, it's got 360 degree camera, heads up display, colour, ambient lighting, Bang & Olsen sound system, not to mention you've got the parking aid and parking assist. But if you see Technology Pack Plus, then you're in luck because if you were going to buy it brand new and configure it on the Audi website, that comes at a cost of £5,995 just for the added benefits that's on the screen right now compared to the normal technology pack would you get this because it's a lot of money and how often would you really use the heated rear seats it's got really sunny now well here's five quick things what i love about this q8 sportback well for starters it's this logo it's got the black and the gray it, it blends really nicely and it looks really new and updated i really like that at number two, it's the storage nest. You can't forget about them backseat passengers because they're just as important. It's very helpful for the driver if you've got a map book, but I don't think anybody carries around them anymore, but it gives some extra storage for them backseat passengers. So then at number three, you've got this cool little intro. If you start the car up, listen to this. Doesn't that make you want to drive a long distance trip in it? At number four, it's the center armrest in the back seat. You've got this cool little drawer that you can put any of your phones so it even stores your phone in there and it, and it locks like that. The only thing it's lacking is a cup holder. So then at number five, finally, you've got the center console. You've got the extendable center armrest that folds open as well for plenty of storage. You've got the two cup holders in the middle that's got the fold out thing. And you've also got the closable drawer and you've got the gear selector that's really comfy and it looks really cool. So then I've done the five likes, let's have a look at the five dislikes of the Audi Q8. For starters, it's got to be that logo. It's too bulky, too flat and too plasticky. I much prefer the one on the rear. At number two, I partially mentioned this before, but it's got no cup holders for the backseat passengers. It's just got this hollow plastic insert. So then at number three, you've got the Alcantara on the doors, but you've got the leather steering wheel. I think it would be so much nicer if you've got the Alcantara on the steering wheel because it makes it that much smoother to navigate with. So then at number four, I think all our new Audis are starting to pump this out and it's a little bit harder to use the touchscreen. Swiping is nice and easy and it still is very sensitive, but for, if I touch it just very lightly, normally it works, but you have to press it a little bit harder for it to register on the new Audis. And I really struggled to find out five dislikes about this Q8. I kind of fell in love with it, but the only one thing I can think of even better would be a panoramic sunroof. I think that would be really good for the SUV and really brighten the interior. So then that's a brief review on the Audi Q8 Sportback Black Edition 50 e-tron. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've got any points to tell me, let me know down in the comments because I'd always love to hear from you guys. But we'll be back next Friday for another review. Until then, see you later.